dun dun na na. All right, we played for a very small number of levels and then the league has ended. And that was perfect for me because what I've just gotten done with is some of the real dead basics. How do the buttons work? Oh my gosh, everything has slots out the wazoo. How does currency work? How does selling of things work? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a new character. Let's go ahead and hear the rant in standard. We're gonna select this nerd again. Um, but before we do, now that I understand some of the what, what the mechanics are and this sort of thing, how do, what are some just rules of thumb that you follow when you have like a build that you're interested in doing? What is, is you know, like what, what are things that you might do in your first 10 hours of play, if you were to tell me? So, so let me let me actually see because nothing anyone has said is really relevant to my question, which means I don't think I worded it properly. So there are 300 life on the tree per act. That's that's an interesting rule of thumb. But what I mean is, do you typically get a few gems and just focused on leveling those? Do you never pick up common items and only get uncommon items? One skill for damage. Oh, interesting. Huh. One main skill, get as many links as you can for it. Oh, interesting. So, what are the other skills that you typically find? Because I'm going to pick whatever skill I find the most awesome. To serve God and the Order of the Templar. Travel, support, defensive skills, movement, auras. Hey, is it are, are is summon minions considered a damage spell? All right. Well, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm gonna get two damage abilities. Uh, excellent. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. All right. So I'm gonna. The witch is pure intelligence, and she floats. I'm gonna get the Templar because he's tight. I'm gonna get the witch because she's awesome. All right, and her name is going to be Strider Zoom. There we go. All right. Driftwood wand. The very sand shivers with malice. So. A power here that welcomes me. So, um, as I'm going into this, I have learned a little bit about the game, a little bit about the game, and what I want to do is I want to share an interesting mental model that I like to use. And we're gonna use MS Paint to share that mental model, right? And I was talking about this uh, in, in uh, Age of Empires 2, and I think it's very relevant to this game here. Mm. Mm. Which is, um, so many of you have heard the idea in a uh, RTS game of a build order, right? A build order is an exact sequence of when you do which thing where. Can you start with six workers, send the first six to go mine, and then the next three also go mine. The 10th one builds this, the 11th one builds that, and send the 14th one to do this, and blah, blah, blah. And that actually, that sequence continues to like 60 workers, right? It's like a very long instruction sequence. And a lot of times people are like, oh dude, let me tell you, if you are looking to get good at a game, Find the build order first. 
But I'm gonna create a little stack of things where build order is the last step. And that stack looks something like this. And th again, this is this is how my brain works. Whoa, that E that E went out of control. Understanding. And yes, I am drawing with my mouse. I don't have a Wacom tablet. Understanding and observation. Big O's. Uh, you know what? There we go. Observation. So, um, th th this is the increasing deepening of how something might work in terms of trying to play a game successfully. And I'm going to use not Path of Exile first, and then I'm going to use Path of Exile as a reference. So if I'm playing in Age of Empires or StarCraft or something like this, I'm going to say like, oh, okay, well, what? I am noticing that if I am going for archers, I need a lot on gold, way more than I thought. That's just an observation. That has nothing to do with strategy or build order. That's just like, oh, look at that. Wow, if I'm going for cavalry, I need way more on food than I thought. Understandings are things like, oh, I see, because you have so few on food, if you're going archers, you don't have enough food normally to tech to the next age, so that's why people get markets. Because then the markets... Ah, I understand now. They get the mar I've, I've observed them getting a market, but now I understand why, because it's the only way that they can um, actually get the food. Strategy is when you link bits of understanding together. Strategy is when you say, oh, okay, so if I have this distribution, but I can still be building um, archers in Feudal Age, that means I want to do a push right when I hit Castle Age and I hit the next tech up to Castle Age. Or excuse me, I hit the next um, upgrade to crossbows at Castle Age. And a build order is an optimization of a strategy. So I find that whenever you talk to someone that has played a game a lot, they spend a lot of time here. They spend a lot of time talking about like, oh, you want a build order that works like this, that does that. You want to make sure you're getting this gem. This is the right gem path in order to do all these things. But like, th this is often where the gap is when players are starting off playing a game. And so a lot of what I want to do whenever I'm getting into a very rich game is make sure I'm just playing a lot and just kind of taking note of stuff. And then I want to try to understand why I'm seeing some of the things I'm seeing. So for instance, I might observe, wow, players tend to only have one active ability. Huh, I see. It's... It's because it's so easy to die in this game, you actually need a lot of um, uh, various support and movement things. Okay, I get it. I got it. I now understand why I'm seeing that. Now, this is not about what is the right optimization to do and therefore what is the perfect build or anything like that. So what, what I, what I want to get some clarity on is some of these things. So, you know, if I watched 100 Path of Exile players play... I would see them never pick up common items. I would see them only pick up things with four slots or more. I would see that um, Scrolls of Wisdom are never used for identification, almost ever, you know. And by the way, I, I made these things up. I don't know if any of the things that I said are true, but these are the kinds of things that I actually want knowledge about. So 300 HP per act, I actually think is pretty good. 300 HP per act is actually pretty good. Um, and then understanding, you need 300 HP per act because the damage scaling works this way, and they're four, blah, 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 blah. Holy shit, Duncan Dunn, what a treat to see you. This is the closest thing to a literal build order in POE would be following a speedrun guide, which is the closest thing to a required order of operations to succeed. Otherwise, there are a lot of general rules of thumb you can use, but you'll have a lot of trouble finding any consensus on any one thing. All right, so... With that in mind, oh, I'm way zoomed in. I have my wand. <coughs> You're the only, oh my god. Oh, oh shit, she can. Fireball. All right, so question. 
Cap resistance is ASAP. Yeah, like, my, my bias... My bias is that um, in Diablo 2, you generally, like, maxed out on vitality, like, at all times. Resistances and more health was, like, really, really, really big. So I'm going to wander around, and I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to just get whatever abilities I really want to get. That's pretty satisfying. You have to kill everything in the zone to get enough levels to finish an act. Dude, dude. You could not pay me a million dollars not to eliminate every enemy in every zone I enter. Are you kidding me? Why do you think I'm playing this game? Why do you think I'm playing this game, man? Every time I, I, I eliminate an enemy, I just get this like, Yeah! Yes! Yeah, so 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 let me so now that I've clarified that, I'm not gonna be using a build guide today, ever. I'm not gonna be using a build guide tomorrow or Thursday. We might consider it on Friday. We might consider it on Friday. Because one of my favorite things is hitting walls. I love hitting walls in games. I love it. I mean, if you watch me broadcast, I'll be like, Rasa Frasa, oh my god, I'm so stupid so stupid, oh my god, why is this not working? And it might look like I'm experiencing pain, but I'm what is known as a pain piggy. That's why I want to experience that. A large chest. Arcane surge support. So, deals some fire damage, 25% chance to ignite. So this is a surge support. In total of 15 mana, from cost. Arcane Surge looks boring. Now, so how, how how does the leveling up work? Is it on is it on cast, or is it on kill? On kill, guys. I need more mana. Did you see me be a gamer right there? That was fucking sick, man. Alright, so search for minion. Alright, hold on. How do, how do we block people? Alright, we gotta make sure... We, got, we have to get rid of every single person here. D&D. Alright, great. Uh, all right, and then how... Okay, now that we're back in game. Uh, how do I make sure that I never get messaged ever again? This is one of these things that, like, in this day and age, I still cannot believe. I cannot believe that this is not a default setting. All right, that's, that's fine. All right, so let's do this. Skeletons and zombies. So this is minion defense mastery, but then I remember there was also a minion defense mastery over here.
Huh. All right. So, one question that I have is so I have a 69 life. So I want to get this to 369 life. And so, for instance, my brain says, I want to go to get this. I want to get the Lord of the Dead. How would I think about increasing these stats? Oh, wow, increase attack speed? Get out of here. Just go there and get life along the way? All right. Supply points. It's Hector, or Hiller. There's my energy shield. I'll hit the Krablar. Oh, dude. Kite. Kite. This is a shank. Now, how should I think about weapons? Oh, a twig spear shield. Oh my god, sick. How should I think about these things? Like other weapon types. I feel like I should be thinking just about sockets right now. For some reason, I feel like weapons in other things are like, holy shit, that's amazing. But in, like, in this game, it's just like, does it have sockets? Alright, what do you want? Ultimate Breadworms of the Field, Dan, I would have a better time learning this game in the same manner as how I learned Dota 2. Have someone coach him in the call. I will just straight up say absolutely not. I actually have so much more fun doing things on my own. So much more fun. And actually, I think that if I were to redo what I did with um, Dota 2, it would be to have played another two years by myself before I got coaching. I actually overwhelmingly prefer that sort of thing. Because the thing is, and, and here's here's another little rant. Here's another little rant. Okay, this is, this is a miniature rant. Let's imagine that we're talking about a strategy game. I'm going to use Age of Empires 2 because it's the most recent strategy game I've been playing. What I am trying to do in a game of Age of Empires 2, I should say, what I'm trying to do as an Age of Empires 2 player is I have a thought process in my head. The thought process in my head then produces decisions, and those decisions will then win me games. So what I'm actually trying to do is improve the thought process that I have so that I can consistently make the right decisions to win games. This is very different from what is the decision that needs to be made here to win. It's very different because this is a huge issue that happened in StarCraft II people in Wings of Liberty would learn a build order. Right when StarCraft II came out, they'd learn a build order, and they'd keep doing it until they started losing, and they would quit the fucking game. And I know this because they'd tune into my show and go, hey, Sean, I haven't played this game in three months because my build order stopped working. So, um, when it comes to getting coached, there's a way that my brain works, and maybe it's not the same way that your brain works, but here's how my brain works. I have my understanding of the game that I recognize is not optimal, but I'll have questions. Hundreds and hundreds of little questions. And anytime I watch a replay, or a coach says something, or I'm just playing another game, I'm answering those questions that are based in my understanding. And so if, so if a coach comes up to me and I don't have any questions in my head, I don't have any existing structure, and they say, hey, 
you in Dota need to do this thing. What happens is I go, okay, and I just start doing it. And it's, it's relevance drifts away from me. The importance is lost on me. And I'm doing an action that at some point I just stop doing or am misunderstanding or all that because I didn't have my own thought process in there. So this is why I actually really, really, really enjoy doing my own so stuff. This is why when I'm playing these games, I'm so focused on just first playing a bunch to have a bunch of questions in my head, at which point a guide will be helpful, a coach will be helpful, things like this. And how dare you suggest that I'm not having the best time of my life. <laughs> Ultimate Breadwinner says, Fair play. The suggestion was more to, uh, to the tune of understanding some of the more esoteric mechanisms of this game that it presents. So, uh, not so much being told what to do, but getting a more succinct answer than having hundreds of chatters offering advice. Ah, that's a great point, and I want to let you know I love chaos. Alright, so here is, here's my understanding. This thing has two slots that are linked, but this one is not linked, so all of these are trash. Did I do it? Transmutation shard. Is that... Did I do it right? Yeah? I'm so sick. I'm so sick. What up, Tarkley? I work with Hillock, who is a big douchebag. Uh, let's see here. Uh, where is Ray Zombie? Farewell. Ray Zombie. So this is gonna... No, let's do W. Oh, that's Ray's zombie. Sorry. I hardly even recognized it. Oh, what am I doing? All right. Here we go. The coast. I know that stench. Just like my sisters. Upon the pyre. Yeah, actually with Dota 2, kind of what happened with me with Purge and the coaching is that after the, it was about a year worth of like really structured, brilliant lessons from Kevin. At which point I had to play for a few more years and I could start to feel my brain go, oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I don't have. Great. Did I fucking miss? Can you miss? Can you miss? Can you miss? Holy shit, look at that. That guy dodging. Yes, you can miss. Get out of here. Skill shot time, baby. Driftwood wand. A big canoe crashed into the ocean. It was devastating to all involved. Oh, yeah, I forgot to raise my zombies. And the roof. So, on, on, on the topic of... Oh, oh, it's a fire eater. Fuck you. So, on the topic of... Yo, dude. You want to make sure that you actually have enough health. Is shields considered health? Is shields considered health for the purposes of... Am I leveling fast enough? Nice. <laughs> Day 9 learns different. He's not built different, but his brain is just... Brain's a little... You know, it's doing its own thing. Oh, Crab Lars. Primary differences between attacks and spells? Damn. Your Arcane Surge support gem is already getting totally swollen. Calm's canoe. Why did Sean switch to a witch? Because the servers shut down, small talk dad. My other account is banned now. Raised hatchet. Raise the hatchet. Alright, do we... Organization commencing.
So like, if you, so, so, all right. So, since the, it's not as much of a focus on damage, I mean, all y'all saying that really I should just be going for require more this, be mana. Y'all saying that really I should be focusing on one damage build. Imagine, imagine, now these are not my thoughts, these are just some thoughts. What if someone said to you, that sounds boring as hell. Only one ability that's dealing damage? To learn is to live. To learn is to live. Raise it up. Energy shield is effective health pool. Rusted sword. Can these can only have three slots, right? So I eventually want weapons that have six or something. Anything dying gives XP about barrels. Dude, look at this. Look at me. More than fifty monsters remain. Pick up this dreck. Sell it all. There are some two skill builds. Oh, there are many two button builds. Dude, fucking, I love, I love pairs of buttons. Right, skeleton boys. Oh, we got it's crab o'clock. Oh shit! Oh shit! See how I cleverly didn't fucking die there because I'm the I'm the man. Oh, this guy's a, he's a big baddie. What? All right, so I'm gonna... What? That looks crazy. Dude, look at the size of this idiot. It's huge! I'm gonna sell it! A Shabba Jerkin. So I get, I mean, I don't, I don't know, I'll use this shit. 10% increase evasion rating, looks like, looks like something I'll equip. Get the Drek, get the Drek. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I got asked the question. Oh no, oh no. Well, well, I guess I'll have to do that. Hold on, it scrolled past. Who, who asked me the question about developing a game? Uh, ask the word fun. Oh my god. There it is. Dan Can says, Dan Can Code says, If you're developing a game, can you trust yourself to evaluate if something is fun? Or do you need others to play it? All right. Get ready for a controversial opinion. This is a hot take from day nine. Also, I'm hunching way too much. I gotta move my chair in a little bit. Controversial opinion from your pal day nine. Here is roughly what I think, okay? And I will explain it best. Give me the scrap, give me the scrap. Make a zombie. Okay, here's as best as I can explain it. Can you know if a joke is funny? Can you know if a joke is funny? Can you really know now? I understand that people have different senses of humor. I get that. But the answer is, yes. 
Yes, you fucking can. There is some subjectivity, but there's a whole lot of objectivity. There's actually quite a lot. And as an example, have you ever seen someone who's trying really hard to say a joke to their crush? They're trying to tell a funny story, and you cringe so hard you almost turn inside out? You know what I'm talking about? Because that person definitely isn't fucking funny. All right. You can, you can be funny. Now, when I was a youngster, I really wanted to be funny. Because if any of you know my brother, Nick Tasteless Plot... Uh, all right, hold on, let me play Tetris real fast. Uh, Nick Tasteless Plot is a funny person. It has more holes. We like it more. Uh, don't, don't clip that. My brother's very, very funny naturally, but I was not. I was not a naturally funny person at all. Some of you are like, you're still not naturally funny, Day 9. And I'm like, no, stop! Um, and I wanted to be funny like my brother. So what I did is I would watch stand-up comedy routines. And I would go up to people. And I would just repeat what was in the comedy routine. And I did that for about 10 years. And after... At the end of about 10 years, I started to get a sense of like, oh, I, I'm starting to understand the patterns of the joke. I'm starting to understand. You know, like I repeated everything that this person said and the person I said it to didn't laugh. Much What's going wrong? Maybe it's my tone. So I'd like try it again. And after a while, it's like you start to you start to get a sense, you start to build an understanding of when what you're about to say is funny. Now, that, there's a big difference between I am funny all the time and this thing popped into my head, this shit's going to be funny. So in this example, where first of all, we all agree that there are some not funny fucking people out there. There are people that, that are so unfunny that they should go to jail. Someone who is, like, <laughs> making the world a worse place when they're trying to tell jokes, okay? We know this. We, we all know this because we've all met that person, and sometimes we've been that person. And the question is, do you need people to laugh for you to know if a joke is funny, or can you tell if it's funny yourself? The way that I would state it is, you have an intuition and a taste in your head. And that can be honed and refined by getting feedback, AKA getting laughs from other people. But at some point, you don't actually need to verify that the joke is funny before your brain goes, this is definitely funny. And then you just say it. Yes. This, this, this. Okay, am I, am I playing Path of Exile? Am I playing Path of Exile? Am I playing Path of Exile? Did I do it? Did I, did I play Path of Exile just then? Did I do it or I just, saw a bunch of stuff and it's not blue, so I just chain sold all of it. Am I playing Path of Exile? Did I do it? The core game loop. Exposed. There it is. So Dan can... Dan can do code. I'm just Dan can code. Your name is changing all the time for me. In the modern day and age where you have large scale products that have lots and lots and lots and lots of people, one of the problems that the product developers have is buy-in, participation, people working at the company feeling like they have a say in the product, things like this. This is an issue. Or if you are making a game where you are selling it to players, you actually now are having a huge group of people participating in this experience and they don't want to be ignored. And it's true that I think it is valuable to listen to players. It's valuable to listen to your colleagues. It's valuable to do all of these things. God hasn't abandoned us. However, in the same way that there are people that can just spend a long time telling jokes and they can get really funny and they just know that things are funny at some point and yes there's taste and subjectivity and all that shit but they know that they're funny there's also people that are say and you're in the example you provide they don't necessarily need to put that game in front of a person to know that this is good and this is fun 
And that is just called expertise. That's just called expertise. And so I think a reformulation of the statement, do you need to put people in front of the game to demonstrate it's fun? No. You don't need to do that. It's helpful to do. But the expertise and the authority of the creator is the thing that matters the most. And specifically, I hate, hate, hate this general sentiment that people have where they're just like, well, gee golly. I mean, we don't make any of the decisions on our own. We just gather data from the users. Do you know what would happen if I went to a bunch of kindergartners and got their feedback about what their diet should be? Ice cream for every meal. I have a great idea. Dad, how about only ice cream all the time? Thoughts? Thoughts? I would get consistent feedback from all those kindergartners that they should get ice cream for every meal. Now, are they lying? Is it that they're wrong and they don't know what they're talking about? They know exactly what they're talking about. Ice cream fucking kicks ass. Ice cream owns. Have you eaten it? I'm talking about it right now and I'm pissed off I'm not eating it right away. Give me your sash, give me your ring. I love corpses. Ah yes, the grim dark's present. A tethered corpse. Uh, what am I talking about? Yeah, so, like, it can be very helpful to gather that feedback and to go, oh, all right, well, you know, fucking kids do like ice cream. Just because they said that doesn't mean that it's accurate. And and there's really common examples um, of players saying, oh, this is really unfun. Here's a really common thing. Um, when it comes to games, a game is a collection of problems. In Magic the Gathering, if you get your spell countered, it doesn't get cast. Fuck. Countering is bad and should be removed from the game. <laughs> Minion damage and life, energy shield. So, so I should actually go down. Oh, get out of here, you turds. I'll finish this point in a moment. Now, do I want increased... I think I want this for myself? Yeah. I don't know if my item thing is turned on or off. There it is. Some spots, some slots, some some Sean plots. So, like, you know what's really good in terms... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember what I was talking about. So, in Magic the Gathering, there are players who are like, countering is bad and should be removed from the game. In fact, if you play Dota or League, 100% of heroes have received the feedback, this is unfun and should be removed from the game. 100% of them. I think Slark is a stupid hero, still. I fucking hate playing Slark. Or against Slark. Slark players are fucking assholes. And I hope they sprain their stupid little thumbs so they can't move their mouses properly. So they can stop tethering me when I'm just trying to fucking place some fucking wards. Medicine chest, wool gloves, gloves, swords, wisdom, bottles. Right? Every single hero's gotten the feedback. This is unfun, delete it from the game. Is it true? that all of this feedback is right? Well, a maybe more accurate statement is, yeah, these players are having a really strong emotional response. Maybe the expertise of Ice Frog in his mind, he goes, you know what? I understand that it's frustrating for you, but there's a lot of joy to be had if you can create that frustration for other people, hey. And this is a healthy part of a strategy game. Oh, yeah. I found the medicine. This is a healthy part of gameplay experience that you can wind up feeling like frustrated and then overcome that. Frustration's actually okay. Frustration is actually okay. Too much frustration? Probably bad. If the only emotion that you experience is frustration? Probably bad. Oh, oh, hold on. Probably gotta organize this differently here, huh? Ah, I know. I fucking know. Leave me alone. Sweetheart. 
We heard, excuse me. Oh, this is better than my existing one, huh? Kind of. Too much clatter. Too much clatter. Requires 17 intelligence. Evasion rating 43. Ah. I'm going to town, man. Hey. Hey. I can't see my screen, Despy. Despy, get out of here, man. Alright. And so, the long and short of it is I therefore believe that... Is it possible? By the way, am I... Oh, select reward? Where's the one that lets me move faster? Yeah, in there. Uh -huh. Oh. Well, support skills that can hit enemies or create minions. I create minions. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm going to finish this point in a moment, but I want this one. And I want to replace Fireball. Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I figure it out? Sell items. Bing, ding, bang, bong, boom. Pow, bang, kazaa. I think, uh, uh, yeah? Three link shield. Alright. Oh, shit. Whoops. Wait, wait, wait. Where's my... Oh, whoops. I thought this was... <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, get, get me out of here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought that... I'm sorry. I thought that this was my zombie. I didn't realize that my zombie is fucking right over here. Fan Phantasm zombie. Okay, there we go. So this... These are, these are connected now. Yeah, this is what I had before. Okay. Okay. Nissa. Sell items. Alright, so I should get rid of this. This. But maybe not this, because it has triple things? Or should I keep these things, because they're triple linked? Eh? See, like... Slots seem like the most important thing. And then the stats, and then the type of items. This seems like trash. I'm gonna sell this hot garbage. Okay, so if I sell strength things, strength things, I get these fuckers. If I sell this... Ah. Alright. Wow. <laughs> and I still sell fucking everything. Except... Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Three life flasks of the same type can upgrade to a life flask of the next highest type? Wait, 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 wait. Get, get out of here. Yo, 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 purchase items. So I have some baby flaskazoids. So this is a small life flask. So if I buy this one, so then, then, how do I how do I recipe them? Holy shit. Oh fuck. Yeah, all right, that's all. I can offer is yours. Oh my god, look at you. Three scrolls of wisdom, three orbs of transmute.
Damn. Damn. Desperado. Damn. Despy, that's fucking crazy. Oh, oh, we're getting scritchy time. Okay, so, therefore, to finally end that little that little rants in a pants for uh, Dan Can Code, the, I think the most important thing is that if you are talking about an author creating a game, the important thing is the author's taste and understanding and knowledge. Yeah, this is going to be really fun. This is going to be really good. In the same way that a comedian who has told a lot of jokes has a really good sense of this. That's what's really important, because at the end of the day, that author is the one making the damn game. And just because players are saying, this is not fun, doesn't mean that they are accurately describing their internal experience. In the same way of, oh god, Sark is so dumb, Sark should be removed from the game. Sark is an unfun hero. The number of times I've heard someone try to say, I don't like this, as this mechanic is fundamentally unfun. Like, people tend to amp up their... I just think that people will not find this fun because I didn't find it fun. Look, dude, you, you got mad because you died to Slark again. Yeah, everyone gets mad. It's fine. It's fine. Like, the design is fine. It's still important to take the feedback. It still is important to listen to the feedback. It still is. It still is important. Like, again, coming back to the humor. Coming back to the humor. If you want to take a look at what everyone deciding on what funny is, if we let everyone, everyone is going to decide on what the funny thing is, go to any thread on Reddit and look at the most upvoted comments and tell me how often you laugh. No one has ever laughed at an upvoted Reddit comment in the history of that platform, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright, excuse me. Excuse me. Alright, oh, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna go kill some stuff. While we live, we are blessed. Got a job for you, if you will it. Stay sharp out there. Alright. Take them and put them closer under the mud flats and fed a pool and kill all the monsters there. All right, if an item ain't blue, I ain't touching it. Calm has removed the eternal stain from this coast. The Empire's citizens decorate our meeting houses with their heads. Our warriors build homes for our families. Where's the button for my inventory on the screen? I have a cat on me. How do I open up my inventory without menu? Great. Be hitting this button all the time. What are these fuckers? Hell yeah. Oh, we got some phantasms. That's pretty fucking cool, huh? But I have really done a bad job exploring over here, huh? Come on, guys. Ah, ah. But dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I think that um, to, to after a very long-winded answer, I think that my, my basic statement is no. You don't need other people to tell you that your thing is fun. You don't need that. But often the author's intuition of what is and isn't fun comes from thousands and thousands of iterations of putting stuff in front of people, seeing the patterns, and eventually developing a recognition of what those patterns are. And that's the expertise. Look at my little zombies, man. My guys are so cute. Ah! Ah! Oh, 
Oh, Rustic Sash. Alright, got my cat. She's real happy that I'm here. Oh my god, this little cat. Oh. Hey, let's not chew on that. That's my, those are my headphones. Did I get them all? Is M the map? M is the shop. Oh, that's that's just dirty. Huh. How do I, how do I zoom out the map? You. Sick. All right, all right. We gotta do some tummy rubs. I need to kill these other monsters. I'm gonna go insane. Oh, yep. It's a good cat. Let me just scooch over here. Oh, where are these turds, man? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, bastards. Dude. I gotta level up this potion so it's always full. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Zol Prime, it's a very common thing for new players to do to clear all zones. It's very common that new players play the game. It's very common. It's always an interesting thing to see. Sometimes it's just a common phenomenon. My god, I don't believe this shit. Dirty jab. Oh, you're a new player and you're actually fighting the monsters? Get out of there. Hey, look, it's a chest. I love chests. It's a rusted spike. I ain't picking that up. It's not blue. I want blue things, please. Yeah, alright. Dude, this this game is relaxing. This is this is the calmest game that I've ever seen. I mean, this is just chill, dude. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You you can't even hit W. Out out glyph. Uh, find a use for the strange glyph in the mud plants. Aya, 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 aya. Oh, four. Ah! Find, find anything with an exclamation mark over it. Um, uh, er, energy shield and recovery. Deep wisdom. Things aren't blue, don't even care. Look at all these little summons, man. Great. <coughs> oh! Hell yeah. Frost blades. What a frost blade. Hey, Louts Cliff. Uh, okay, this is frost blades. I'll put it right, right in my boob. Right on the nip. Rusted spike. Rustic sash. Found a better sash. Frost blades, let's go ahead and make these. Let's 
Skill can be used. Hold on. Attack enemies with increased range, which is blaze. So I sell this, huh? I sell this shit. It's done. I'm done with that, man. Black storms descend on us from the north. Unnatural tempests of rage. Be careful which hashtag you look up on the internet. People are fighting over things that haven't mattered in a thousand years. Alright. Or drop it. Oh, that's a real degen move. I, I somehow have taken damage, and it's unclear to me why. It's unclear to me why. To the fetid pool. Uh, search some butterflies for the image of the fetid pool. Kill all monsters in the fetid pool. And... Well, as a newbie, I think I'll be very excited to clear all the monsters in here. <laughs> all right, everyone. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. It is so fetid in here, man. Pit stench. <laughs> Cue the old spice commercial. Oops, clumsy me. Oh, you can hover me with that. You get that. Decoy totem. What? Show me this shit. Decoy totem. Someone's totem that enemy. Oh, it's totem time. I'm gonna put this one in my fucking ankles. What? It requires oh, a little four and sixteen strength. Get out of here. All right, jewels to sell. Uh, question, did I ever finish what I was saying to uh, Dan Can Do? Dan Can, Dan Can Code. Did I, did I sufficiently answer your question, Dan? More or less, yeah. Okay. One of my favorite pieces of content that we've ever made here is uh, a video you can find on my YouTube that is feedback is dumb and it doesn't matter. So I would hit I, but my cat's on my arm. Oral. Oh, it's right there. And that's absolutely a, a clickbait title. Absolutely. You'll never get me to deny that. Get some friends. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like there's, there, there's an important point in there, even though it's a fucking hilarious title. <laughs> Which is that I feel like there's this glorification of feedback. Energy, energy, energy. There's this glorification of feedback that I just don't understand. Feedback is useful, but it's not, like, fucking sacred. It's just feedback, you know? Dad, I want ice cream for every meal. Oh my god, well, if you said it, I mean, it's your feedback. Oh my goodness. Let's take this kindergartner's opinion, like, as seriously as a nutritionist. Kill the necromancer and his minions. Is that me? Cadaverous. Abracadaverous. Oh, I'm missing so fucking much, man. You summon, I summon. We all summon for ice cream. 
Oh my god, this guy's got some of them raw gloves, baby. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. Boots. Quiver. Hatchet shoes. Rawhide gloves. Alright. And things that, like, uh, like some corollaries to what I'm talking about is, like, I feel like it should be okay if someone's like, dude, rawhide boots, stone axe. I feel like it should be socially appropriate for someone to go, here's my feedback, and for the other person to go, I don't give a shit. I feel like that should be socially appropriate. Right? I feel like it should be socially appropriate. Like... I say things like, I really wish I had, like, a few million extra dollars so I could retire. And guess what? No one gives a shit. The bank isn't like, here you go. You know? It's just like, I, I emit that statement into the void, and the void returns nothing to me. I think someone should be able to go, I think Slark is a stupid hero. I think they should be able to say that. They should be able to say that. But I should be able to hear it and go... Noted. And that should be fine. That should be the end of the conversation. Wipe out the remaining monsters. Alright, let's... I'm gonna use a scroll of this shit. Adds one, two cold damage to attacks. But now I can't have... Energy... Oh, I don't have a hat, man. I need this fucking hat. I need a better hat than that fucking garbage. It's not worth IDing stuff this low level. Yeah, I'm being, I'm being so, I'm being such a dumb dumb. Oh, hey guys. Darkwood Scepter, Copper Sword. Yeah, actually, I don't, even, I don't even know what my items are, man. Oh, I need some shoes. I need I need a helmet and some shoes and, like, a fucking belt, man. Simple robe. This simple robe is so much better than this trash fire. So, wait. If I have these three things linked. If I have the fireball here. If I have this here and this here, are these two things linked? Oh, they're fucking linked. Oh, they're linked now? Oh, get out of town. I'm gonna kiss you. We've done it, Despy. We've done it. We've gotten some links in here. Here you go, fucking cute self. Alright. Alright. No glove, no love. Get out of here. Evasion rating 18. Crazy link combinations. I know, you thought the wands and Noida were tight. Oh, level up. What's, what's a zombie yet? Here's zombie. Maximum three raised zombies. Alright, we're doing it. Huge cat. I know, this cat's fucking gigantic. She weighs like eight pounds. <laughs> Day nine, your cat has grown too powerful. Dude, I'm detonating all the barrels. Blacksmith's whetstone, spell, cascade, support. One, two, three. Alright, yep, you can go. Hey, please go. Alright, fighting's happening over here. Fuck yeah. Pretty fun shooting fireballs over there. Alright, so. This is a... That's decoy totem. This is spell cascade. Apply an effect to an area around a target location. I can't even use this shit. 
But in theory, I could, like, put this here, and it'll just be leveling up, right? So I could, like, put this here, and it'll just be leveling up for when I sell it? Oh, shit, are we serious? Oh. This is what they were talking about when they introduced the Circus of Value. I mean, this is insane. One! Talk to Tarkley. My finger's starting to get tired, man. Oh, shit, I forgot to look for a hat. I really want a hat. Rusted spike. Mm. Oh, oh my god. So the den of evil, basically. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. I mean, this is this is some content right here, man. <laughs> What's the reason for the reroll? The league ended. They have full controller support. Shit. I mean, does it work in VR? Find the glyphs and row as nest. Find them and you'll be the best. To this truth, I will attest. Pat Heist says, I contacted the Vorpex dev about it. And he got it working in two days. I'll be honest, I don't remember the question. Oh, controller support. That's what we were talking about. That's incredible. That's some good interfacing that they got. I bind move to a how do I bind this to like move oh my god that's oh my god yes God, it hurts. No, it feels so good. It feels, I mean, it feels incredible. I knew someone that uh, used the space bar as uh, left click because of carpal tunnel. Shit, yeah, man. Let's fucking identify these shoes. Oh, fucking, oh. Hey, you ever have indigestion like this, man? Let me tell you. All right. Battered helm. I got a helmet. I'm fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, let me hit tab and this. Oh, but I'm, like, really not paying attention at all. For shoes, you want to prioritize movement speed. I, I, I prefer to, the ability for them to make a fashion statement. Ooh, 
Dude, I might just actually make all of these. Yeah, I like this a lot, where I just, like, my mouse is just sitting around. Glass shank. Whoa. Whoa. I like holding buttons, man. My poor my poor left index finger, you know. Give me this. Deep wisdom bam. Fly points. So let's see, then I'm gonna slink up here, and then I'm gonna get to Lord of the Dead. And then maybe deal more damage in Arcanist Dominion. And then I'm gonna, like, work my way like a nutcase somewhere else. Alright. And so our plan begins. Dude, I can see now that I would just be running around waiting for my minions to just do shit for me. Portal scroll. Yay! I gotta get used to clicking on the portal. On the words, portal scroll. I mean, like, this This is, like, the most zen-ass game, dude. Alright, we gotta get some more abilities, don't we? Oh, dude, I love being able to take my mouse hand. Oh, now I'm thinking with portals. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. I love my little zombie pals. Submerged passages now open. Wayne Classic says, have we told him about the move only option for left click about 200,000 times since I went live? Yeah. I know. So this and this and this and this and that and this shit. Except, show me what you got. Alright, what else we got? Fireball, Roiling, Freezing, Lightning, Spark, Raise, Zombie. So I already have that ability, so we don't need it twice. Explosive Trap, Frostbolt, Blight. Arcane Surge Support. We already have one of those. Storm Blast Mine, Kinetic Bolt. Kind of neat. So if I get a summoned phantasm support and put it if this were blue and I put in another one, it would like also boost that again. Like I could have two of the same support gems in there. Oh, that's that's great. Does nothing if you already have one? Alright. Alright, so. 
Ah, uh, what's happening? What is this? Talk to this guy. Now that you've drained that passage. Now that you drained that passage, you get some stuff. Detonate dead? This is an agility gem? No, I don't believe that shit at all. Oh, fuck. Alright. Flame wall, contagion. Summon raging spirits. Some sort of flaming skull that rushes to nearby enemies and attacks them rapidly. Orb of storms. Creates a stationary electrical orb that strikes enemies in its area of effect with beams of lightning. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, summon raging spirit is just giving me such a raging spirit right now. I'll just, like, take this. Put it in there. Frost blink? Teleport to a location? Leaving chilled ground in an area at both ends of the teleport. A necromancer. Just the one, was it? Book of Regrets. You accidentally left your book in my game. All right. I've traveled inland on the Emperor's road. I'm sure you did. Farewell. All right. So, uh, grants two passive respect points. All right. So let me let me. Well, this is right-click to gain two passive respect points, but I don't want to respect anything. Oh, I see. I misunderstood. I thought that this meant I need to immediately refund two of them. I was like, I don't want to do that. I want these things. Why would I do that? Okay, 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 okay. So, so I'm going to go to my inventory over here. So this is Spell Cascade, uh, area in effect around a targeted location. So here, Spell Cascade and Frost Blink are here. Right? Alright, Summon Raging Spirit is... Alright, so let's, let's see here. Yeah, I'll, I'll just make it this one. This thing shows that it is supports. It doesn't support frost blink. Okay. Danked. Yes. Purchase items. These. Elemental proliferation. I'm just gonna. Wait, how do I know what the cost is? Oh, just says it right there. Scroll of wisdom. Okay, so.
Right now, this guy's not gaining levels. So then I'm gonna go sell. It's garbage. This does not support Frost Blink. It says supportable skills, and it says Frost Blink right there. Spell Cascade support doesn't do anything. But Arcane Surge, which is over here, supports Frost Blink. Yeah. All right. While we live, we are blessed. Hashtag blessed. All right. Progression continues. Alright, going in. Time to blink around the mud flats. Oosh, oosh. Find the Emperor's Road. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, wait, point. Oh, that's so funny. What the fuck? Holy shit. These little fucking guys are awesome. to hit the waypoint for it to activate? Oh, this fucking game. Alright, I can sell this garbage. They did it. Dude, they, they made the abilities feel real fucking snappy in this thing. A boulder. Can't see a boulder and not think about the Avatar The Last Airbender character, the boulder. How do I increase the cast speed of this shit? Alright, so uh, since, since we're getting some new beans in here... There is the common asked questions about item filters and left click for move and are we doing a build and why is Day 9 playing this when the league is going to be ending soon? You know, all, all that. If you all would do me a favor and just help collab with me in answering that shit. Just help me a little bit on that shit. Oops. Oh, this is one of these. A different hat. My helmet fucking sucks. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. And as another question, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Is it common to only get gems for your associated class? Like, I'm largely getting intelligence. So I, like, wouldn't get this because it's double red. Yes, no, yes, no.
That is a complicated question. Yeah. Seems fine. So, like, really... I'll mostly want some blue stuff. But there might be a reason for me to get some combinations and other ones. Superior Darkwood Scepter. Blue items get sold. Oh, I started this character today? Yeah, I started this character at 3 p.m. and it's 5. Aw, uh, yes. Maybe actually even sooner than that. Casting time, huh? Can I not raise a zombie? Oh, because those are not corpses. Ah. Raging Spirits is fucking awesome. of the dead. Hold on. I gotta see what's all this junk inside that trunk. Flooded depths. I'm gonna go over here. Do, do, do. All right, this is a lean back moment for me. I need to get more water, man. It's been so dry. We've had the air conditioner running for like three months straight. <laughs> like, I mean, it's like insanely dry. So I just need to keep pounding that water. I love my little raging spirits. I mean, these things are awesome. Because, I mean, it's basically like I'm sending out the zerglings at them, you know what I mean? And I don't say that as any sort of, like... <laughs> Dude, I'm serious. Sometimes I feel like I'm a caricature of myself sometimes. Dude, I mean, I'm just like, go! Oh, what up, Samwise? I assume that you're the same Samwise from the Lord of the Rings franchise, in which case, you know, I really thought you did a better job than Frodo, not gonna lie. Armor is scrap, small life flask, power amulet. Can you feel my power? Oh, shit. Every nook and every cranny. Touch every single thing. Storm Weaver. Bye bye. So like, when I become a high level, I won't be going both zombies and raging spirits. I'll be going two different abilities. That fucking sucks, man. I'm like, I'm like, sad for future me. I'm like really devastated. <laughs> well, I mean, well you. Can. I just, I'm just gonna say you shouldn't. You obviously could, but I'm not saying that's a good idea. But you can. It feels like my raging spirits are dealing the damage. Here I am. Wah.
The ledge. It looks like I've gone one step closer to the ledge. Um, all right, so if I go to my U, oh, I see, I goes there. The submerged passage. How long has this been the game? <laughs> what a useless question. How long has the sequence of acts that we're going through been the sequence of acts in the game? Like, how, how long has this existed? Since 2012? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Have they done graphical updates to this shit, or has it always looked this good? They've been updated. They've been improved. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, Pathfinding here. The flooded depths. Get in there. <laughs> All right. Go me. So we're wait. We're we're wasting time here. We have our cascaded support. Bing bong. I need a better hat. I like my shoes, I need a better hat, and I need a better belt. Alright, go, go, go. Get him, little buddies. I'm gonna hold this button. Dude, look at him! Look at him go! Oh my god, I love skulls that are pissed off! Drifting eye. Mm hmm. Salutations, exile. Oh, Trace, 95 months. What a treat. Trace, for any of you who didn't know, uh, was instrumental in helping create the Let's Learn StarCraft series. Trace was the person that helped create every single one of those little videos. Often under incredible time pressure. Alright, make eight Hydralisks, send them here. Don't ask why. Now make 20 Marines. Make 20 fucking Marines! <laughs> Scroll of Wisdom. Dude, look at my awesome little collection of dudes. I forgot to make a worker. Yeah, by the way, making workers, like, imagine if you needed to hold this down for 20 minutes straight. That's what playing Age of Empires is like with worker production. <laughs> Traces. Lurker bit was my favorite. Weren't you doing this thing you've never done before perfectly on the first try? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember you're like, I'm sorry, I just and I'm like, dude, no, fucking this this shit is impossible. This game is impossible, that's why a series exists. Raging Spear and Microtransaction, please. Has this ever happened? Has this ever happened in a single game that I play where people go, please, please spend money. Please. Spend the money. Spend the money on the, on the damn cosmetic, please. Oh, shit. My little guys go. Bees? They're bees? M for money. Where are the bees? Where are the bees? Where are the bees? Fill in my transaction, bees. Summon raging bees? Okay, let's just... In the shop. I just don't want to dox myself. I don't know what this, I don't know what this shows. But I'm going to purchase bees. It's loading. Why is it loading? Why is it loading? Why is it loading? Why is it loading? I want bees. I want bees. Where are the bees? <gasps> These bees are like... 
It's like ten dollars. Hold on, hold on. Someone tell me how to microtransact. Is it the first blood starter pack? And I hover over it, and it's like, Sean lives here. And I'm like, no! Get, buy a supporter pack? This is a starter pack. Where's the supporter pack? Oh, Knight Supporter? Knight Master Supporter? 90 US dollars? Rogue Supporter? All right. Tell me which pack to buy. Buy a supporter pack, you get free stuff. Wait, wait, Sorator. Did you accidentally forget what your sentence was halfway through? Buy this, and then you get stuff free. Did you did you forget that you opened up instructing me to not do something that involves free to make a purchase? That is a crazy thing. This game has melted your brain. I actually am worried that the microtransactions in this game are a little bit too generous. Sorator says, I said what I meant. Oh, doubling down. I always respect that shit. All right. Uh, I could just pay 20 bucks and just get the bees. I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to do this. But if I pay $30, I get this. Night Lord Supporter! First Blood. Extra stash tab. First Blood weapon effects. I'm going to buy this. All right, hold on. And uh, where's the stash tabs? Load. Load. Oh, let me remove bees. There we go. <laughs> There's not a lot of stashes that involve bees. It doesn't exist. There's none of them. All right, let me just kind of scratch this. Divination stash tab. All right, so this is this is like five dollars, seventy, seven and a half dollars. Premium stash tab bundle. It's twenty dollars. Dang! Holy cow! All right, I'm gonna go to the specials. No, I'm gonna go to the. So how did I get there last time? I typed in bees. I typed in bees. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I hit enter on this. And then I should just... Oh, God, this is the shop. I don't. I want to get out of here. Hold on, how do I go back here? So I hit this, then I hit M. And now I go to the shop. By points. Okay, this is... Okay, I figured it out. We're getting there. Okay. First blood starter pack. Hold on. Bye. I'll be reviewing the finances with the wife of Add funds? Oh, well, I may as well add $100. I agree to the, the terms of service. That is where I live. I'm really glad I'm on this screen. Thank you for your purchase return of your transaction. It's the scariest thing I've ever seen. That's this is terrifying seeing all my personal information right there on the screen. That's crazy. That's crazy right there. All right, authorize. All right, hold on. I have two hundred things. All right, let's go to skill effects. Oh, oh, get me out of here. M. Uh, skill effects. Bees. Bye. Bye. Summon Raging Bees. Skill effects can only be applied to one gem at a time, but can be reclaimed and moved between gems for free. Okay, so... Alright. Press K to equip. K. That is not that is not that satisfying. That is just not that. I mean ten dollars, just poof. Up and away. There it is. Wow. 
Ten. Ten dollars. Well, let's just use it. Let's just use the bees. Dude, what is this fucking guy? What is this lobster that just showed up? Listen to those bees making thudding, punching noises. Alright, hit them with bees. Alright. Listen to these fucking boxing bees. This was not thoroughly thought out, the bees cosmetic. I mean, I'm not... Oh, it's so yellow. It must be because of the bees. Alright, hold on. We have a tribal club. We have a chest plate. We have a short ball. We have... Too much clatter. Oh, shit. This is about as intelligently organized as my household. Hmm. Short bow. What is this fucking trash bow? Give me this bow. Yeah, Jade Hatchet. I love just kind of hovering it over clumsily. Come on! Come on! That's <laughs> fucking yelling at it. I don't understand why it doesn't just do it. All right. Where's my portal? Boom. Get me in there. Okay. Here we go. Sell shit. Sell all of this shit that I have. I think I, think I did it right. I think I'm awesome. Tribal club. Except, you want to identify rares before selling for better trade? Oh. <laughs> Can you haggle? Yeah, where's haggling, man? Ain't I know? You fucked it up so bad! Not always, and not in town. Yeah, I want to haggle. I want to be like, come on, come on. I'll be a repeat customer. You know, I want to be that guy. Essence help page unlocked. Whispering essence of... What the fuck? What the fuck? S send the bees! Bees, 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 bees. Everything dies. Everything dies! Upgrades normal item to rare with one guaranteed property. Property restrict to level 35 and below. And I have some wool shoes. So, so like, what, uh... I mean, this literally looks like a Bic Razor. Upgrades normal items to rare with one guaranteed property. Turns a gray item to gold. So, like this ring. Hmm? Alright. I'm gonna do this. I'm using this, but what should I use it on? Hmm? I'm gonna use it on this. <laughs> okay. Okay. On the boots, huh? Why on the boots? Why on the boots? What, what happens with boots? Canton boots, right? Because this is a normal item, right? So look, I have this robe. I have the robe, I have the belt, I have the ring, and I'm not I'm not gonna use it on this hat. You couldn't pay me You couldn't pay me a million transformation shards to do that. Look at that, that's an in-world joke. Look at the essence. What do you mean look at the essence? You look at the essence, and then you tell me what to do. I'm asking you the robe or the belt. So, the armor will reflect physical damage. The jewelry adds one or two physical damage to attacks. I'm going to use it on the robe. No, I'm not. It's equipped. 
Soul Shell. More intelligence. Energy shield. Fire resistance. Lightning resistance. Increased stun and block recovery. Reflects one physical damage to melee attackers. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of you are like, nice, good, cool, great. Let me explain to you what this feels like. Imagine you attended an event you've never been to. Imagine it was widget night at your local bar. And you're like, what's widgeting? And someone's like, just show up and I'll walk you through it. You're like, all right. So you go to the local bar and you're like, yeah, I'll, I'll have a, a Heineken. And everyone goes, 11. And someone else goes, wow, that's a really good number. That is what I, I'm experiencing right now. I have no context for this. I'm glad that you're happy, but I don't widget. I've been only widgeting for about four hours and 11 minutes. And I also just spent $10 on bees. So I, I, I it's, it's so contextless. I actually think this is something that all of us should do in the next conversation we have with someone we don't know very well. Someone should be like, dude, I've been gunning for this promotion at work. I didn't think I was gonna get it, but then my boss got fired and I got promoted into his slot. And I'd be like, oh, plus 8%. And then just see what they do, see what their reaction is. The plus eight percent, you go, yeah, right. And you never, ever act like you don't sound insane. All right, let me check some of my stats. What? Oh my God! Beware of lobsters. Uh, estimated physical damage reduction, twenty percent, and I have. <laughs> that is not a lot of resistances. All right. out some bees that were paired with the sound effect of someone punching a wall with a boxing glove on. <laughs> and you just played the game. What did you think of the game? Well, about 8%. Content. Fate Knuckle. <laughs> oh, that's a cool name. I mean, that name is just absolute pure sex appeal in it. Fate Knuckle. Procedural generation leads to the best quality. Fate Knuckle. Sounds like an anime. The way to make it an anime is you add some really weird delimiters in there, you know. Some hyphens. Maybe, perhaps a semicolon. You have a point, I'm the lord of the dead. Apply points. More zombies. Ugh. Guess what? Or is a crew. Yeah, Fate X Knuckle. That's exactly how it's done. Great job, Wolf 67. Congratulations, you are now the king of anime. What's the theoretical zombie max right now? Uh, well, Albatross time, I can answer that one for you. It's four. It's four, all right. It is four. What a bore. You know, there's something funny I was chatting with someone about. Um, and I brought this up earlier this week, but I didn't really expound upon it. Oh, shit. I don't really expound upon it, which is that um, a lot of times we, as internet socialites, we read the subreddits, we're in Twitch chat, we're reading the Twitch chat, I'm a broadcaster, I'm fucking talking all the time to you, and you're talking back to me, and we're fucking talking to each other. And there is an absolutely gargantuan segment of the gaming audience that does not fucking socialize at all. They're just opening up the game and playing the game, and when they're done with the game, they close it. And I want to see all the characters of the person that does that with Path of Exile. I want to see that shit. I want to see that. Ulubai says, yo, right here. Ah, 
Ah, well, I gotcha. By virtue of you just saying, hello, I'm here, you have invalidated your ability to say. Wait, what? What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing here? Wait, is it this? This is the... That was the entrance. Where am I? What is this place that I'm in? Talk to Tarkley for your reward. This was a side area. Was it? Man, I... I'm going up here. I'm going to send some bees at him. Killed the boss. Man, I'm like not paying attention. Not in town. Oh, yeah, look, travel to Lion Eyes Watch. Lion Eyes Watch is the name of the town. It's very forgettable. All right, so I then am going to go to I, and I'm going to right-click the portal scroll. Get in there. But knowing this game, if I want to buy more portal scrolls, that costs me three portal scrolls per portal scroll. Oh, you know, it might be a little bit difficult. You managed to kill a granddaddy crab. <laughs> All right, book of skill. Purchase items. So these are all trash because they're purchased from a vendor. Is that right? Three wisdom scrolls? Scroll of wisdom for a scroll of portal? Man, fuck that. Minion Defense Mastery. Spells cause you to gain mana equal to their upfront cost every fifth time you pay it. <laughs> All right. Instability, ah, oh, power charges, basic jewels, intelligence. Seems cool. Or some nose glowing because I'm searching for a minion. Annihilation commencing. Cast speed. Yeah, well, how do I get more of these? Just a lot of shit. Well, everyone's a slowpoke down here. I'm kind of interested in this shit, man. I'm going to do this. Man, some energy shields. Mm hmm. What's over this way? Get some intelligence, resistance, and ailment protection. Energy Shield Mastery, Life Mastery, Evasion Mastery. Oh, shit. Alright, so where where is Summoner Mastery? Minion. Oh, yeah. So there is Minion... What's this crazy thing? Minion Offense Mastery? So I'm going to look at this. 20% Penetrate... Unholy Might. Holy shit, so I can just, like... This is, like, the same thing as this? It's a pick one? Huh.
pick one from the cluster. Oh, so if I level up all this bullshit, I get one of these. Oh, so if I get to this one. Okay. Just the big node. Just the one that's huge. Rune binder. Mind over matter. Pain attunement. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is... I'm gonna go this way. Because I'm an adult and I make adult choices and I'm also resetting all this garbage on Friday. Dude, Jordan, Jordan, what do you want me to do here, huh? You want me to find something called instability? You're looking at him. It's right here and right here. See, look, look, look at instability. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Okay, do you see this? She's starting. Uh-oh, we're putting energy into the cat. We're putting energy into the cat. She's going to start getting agitated. She's growing increasingly unstable. Hold on. Hold on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, let's see if she's... Is she happy? Despy, hold on. We're going to... I'd like to interview you. Come here. Hey, Despy. Hey, Despy. Despy, look at your dad. Hi. Yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about. All right, so. Despy. Come on, meow. Despy. Stop purring. She's really enjoying herself right now. Getting tummy rubs. Uh-oh. All right, all right, let me gently move you here. All right, hold on, let me. All right, uh, all right, let me, all right. There you go. Dispy. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, yeah. One more. Dispy. 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 Come on. Come on. See his little shakes? I love your little wiggles. Dispy. Right, yep, smell my mouth. Yep, is it dad? Well, it smells like him. Dispy. Hi. Come on! Oh my god, she's just way too happy. She's just purring. Yes, B! Fuck, I look like such an idiot. Alright, alright, I'm gonna set you gently over here. Alright, go kill your sister. There we go. Alright, Pat, the instability is here. Where is it? There, there was like a minion detonation or some shit that was over there. Instability. A minion instability. So maybe I'll just like minion defense mastery. All right, we're going to get unstable bees. The bees are getting increasingly unstable. <laughs> Sell the items. Sell this and the driftwood wand. It's been with me since the beginning, and I completely throw it to the side. I'm like a startup in Silicon Valley. Quest complete, huh? Slain the Dweller of the Deep. Alright, so... Small life flask. We're gonna put that shit in there. Add a new... Oh, okay. That's... That's a hidden button right there. Where it's just like, do you want a new tab? I'm like, yeah. And it's like, $10 or $50? And I'm like, whoa. Easy there. Alright. Put everything in one for me. Travel to Prisoner's Gate. Submerged Passage. Look at my Zombos. Wait, what? Why did it reset? Why did it reset? Why did it reset? Superior Twig Spirit Shield. Does it always reset? Resets after 10 minutes? Get the fuck out of here. Ow, ow, ow. 15 minutes, 10 minutes. It resets every minute. It resets every five minutes on the minute. It never resets. I hear it resets in about one minute. Is that right? I think I'm right. Oh yeah, fireballs, I remember these. Oh, look at my, look at my poor, 
my poor zombies. Well, let's just summon new ones that understand what A-star is. Yeah, it's at somewhere between 7 and 15 minutes, and if you scan, it will not tell you if they're in Roche. Yet, it actually will. Or I think it was every two minutes. Ah, <laughs> oh, we got some rawhide boots. Serial GG's is anyways now to bed. Good night, Satan. Good night, Satan. Just for any of you who don't know, that's Serial GG's alias on Discord. I'm not just going up to longtime viewers and being like, sleep well, Satan. Thanks for stopping by, fuckface. You know, it's not... By demon spawn. I think that... I, I, I think your ID on Discord is Satan. Or maybe it's... Or maybe it's every ten minutes. It's one of those two. This joke is still funny. <laughs> that popped into my head and a little smirk appeared and I was like, I'm gonna say it, aren't I? Oh, a chromatic orb. Oh, yeah. Zombie microtransaction? Well, if it's anything like the bees, I don't know if I can do it. Where's the entrance to this fucking thing? Is it really right there? Oh wait, no, that's the that's how we get into here. That's not the exit. I think that's pretty good. Hit him with the bees. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Alright, let's go this way. Woo! Roll of wisdom. Oh, what is this guy? Blood, blood princess? That is, is that what the uh, evil demon at the bar says when he buys the demon lady a drink? Hey, next drink's on me, blood princess. Goat's horned. All right, where's my, what is a horn? Goat's horn? Is this, it's a wand? This is a wand. Oh shit, yeah, man. Oh, that's what I'm fucking talking about. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Oh, sorry guys. That went away. Dude, this, this fucking twig spirit shield is garbage, man. I hate that shit. I need some better twigs. All right, let's get some. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, 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 uh. Wait, what are these? Oh, shit. It, it gives me a count? Oh, shit. I got eight of them. Hey, hey, relax. Why are you getting so wound up, Blood Princess? I'm just a guy. I'm a nice guy. I just want to buy you a drink. What's so bad about that, Blood Princess? God, it must suck to get hit on in a dark fantasy world. Flirting and Ray class. It's bad for both sides, I think. I'm figuring out that I skip every enemy. <laughs> Sorter says, isn't it funny how it doesn't matter what species the corpse is, it always results in a human zombie? I I'm actually not surprised. Because humans love to take any shape and put two eyes and a mouth on it and go, it's like a human face. Like Wilson. Wilson, the volleyball in the movie, um, whatever the fuck it was, not cool. Like, let me tell you something. If you rewatch Castaway and you view Wilson, the volleyball, as objectively hilarious, then it's a comedy movie immediately. It's the funniest thing. Oh, oh, I went back in. It's, it's so funny. Like, imagine. Imagine if instead of Wilson being a volleyball with a face, if it was this lint roller, and there were no eyes on it. It's just, it's a, it's a lint roller. And you know what lint roller's name is? It's Wilson, okay? Like, already, just notice, isn't this hilarious? Yeah. Wilson's cleaning me up right now. That movie's a comedy.
Yeah, so, you know, like, these, th th this is, like, very clearly just, you know, a tentacle, and we just sliced the tentacle in half, put two eyes and a smile on it, and named them all Wilson. There it is. <laughs> What's in the chest? Nothing? I feel like this chest is broken. I have, a, I have a, some design feedback. Uh-oh. Uh oh, they have a blue glaze. Oh, coral amulet. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got a rusted coif. Regenerate life per second. What does this thing do? Increase mana regeneration rate. Show me this. Dexterity maximum life. Six life gain on kill. Shit, man. Let's go. Taking a trip to Coral Town. Goats. Uh oh. Danger ghost. I do an alarmingly good joke. Any any kind of emotion you want a, a goat to emote, or I guess to a goat in their case. Like I got you covered. My my goal for the day is new. My goal for the day is to get a unique. Will it happen? I don't know. By the mercy of Chris Wilson. Chris Wilson! Imagine, imagine that. One of the best designers in the history of the business is a volleyball with like a painted face of dried blood. I mean, get out of here. It's incredible what he's been able to achieve. Grinning toad. Enemies are slow. Oh! Lurger for life says P.O.E. Gucci Hobo Challenge when? I, I'm. It's unclear to me that that was a sentence. It's. It's unclear to me. That you didn't accidentally, like, drop your keyboard down a staircase and then just hit enter. Give me one moment, though. All right. That was good. Hey, thanks, Ghosty. I also will note, you're talking to someone that lives in the Los Angeles County. Where our, our, our good old city council is not kind to the homeless and unhoused population in L.A. So, you know. There, there is part of me that gets a little, like, I can feel a little bit of, uh, uh, whenever someone is recreationally using the term hobo. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Because you have no clothes on except for the only, like, super... Because you're trying to get, like, the nicest sounding thing. Like, uh, the, the finest of clothes and the most clothless of them all. The earth of it rejects the dead. Stone axe stuff. Dude, look at my little guys. I love my little guys. Oh, wait. I haven't been drinking this thing. Bees, 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 bees. They call it an emperor's run. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. You're learning about the source of... Oh, did I skip an orb? Did I? Oh, thank you. Oh, look! The, oh, the skeletons are new. Hell yeah. Not in town. Oh, shit, what is this? Kuduku, the false god. 
someone has been enjoying some content from our good friends at FromSoft. This thing looks hilarious. I love this. Buzzmo I love I love any name that sounds like you have a cold. Uh alright, so Oh, I fucking still need a hat, don't I? Oh, is this fucking circlet? Oh, fuck yeah, put that one on my head. That's what I'm talking about. Fucking get out of here. Mana flask, life flask, organization. So we're gonna pump these together. Mmm. Mmm. Ha. Huh. Stretching. Hell yeah. That's what, that is about what I am talking All right. I am feeling really good. Can my belt have gem slots on it? How slotty can we get? All right. No slots on the belts? Selling all the things is better than dropping it. I'm sorry. Whose stream is this? Is this my stream? Is this my stream? I'm sorry. Is this... Is this anyone's stream but my stream? It's unclear. It's unclear whose stream this is. Is this mine? Is this my stream? I think it is. Alright, let's leave all that shit behind. <laughs> Land of Warp just gifted us. Uh, get out of here. She gifted us five. Thank you. Panic Science says, I did it bad. Sorry, sir. That's good. As long as as long as I made you feel marginally bad, then my little insecure soul is like, good. Good. I'm going to be telling this story like a week later. I'm going to be out with my friends. There is this guy. You wouldn't believe this guy. Like real shitbag, okay? <laughs> and he was like, you know, you can sell that. Like, who the fuck does this guy think he is? Like, who does he think he is? Lapis Amulet versus a Torment Noose? Oh, dude. Like, I want my... Well, he was arrested and sentenced to 10 years in prison when FBI agents discovered that in his search history, torture noose, fate knuckle, and protective wool shoes of plunder. Ah, damn, the third one wasn't funny. We're discovered. There it is. That's the third one. Soul shell. There was another funny one in here. Ah, fuck. Barrel's goat's horn. All right, whatever. Whatever. Fuck that joke. That joke, that joke went off the rails. Mockthal also gifting five. Oh my god. A Tuesday of gifting emerges. Send in the bees. That joke was a blunder. Look, no backseating on my joke talent. None. Shoes X plunder. The climb. Travel to prisoner's gate. Uh, my quests, are they in you? The way forward. Touch another object. The black spirit infects living. It infects a whole lot. Do you understand why it's not a game mechanic that things keep coming back? Do you understand it's not the game, but it's actually the narrative itself causing respawn and save points and instance dungeons and loot that dropped endlessly and that kind of shit. <laughs> this rock is infected with lore. Actually, wait a minute. Let's get this thing over here. There we go. Have a drink. Move a little fast. Alright, have a drink. Move a little fast. This is like coffee in Stardew Valley. I always start the day off with so fucking much coffee. Zoe plants. 
Goatman Shaman. Sit there, sit there. Holy shit! They're bone wheels! Holy shit, these are these are Dark Souls fans. Hell yeah. And if any of you are like, this wasn't a game that wasn't Dark Souls, I want to let you know, my experience of them first was Dark Souls, and through any two points, there lies a line. And that is the nature of how theories turn into facts on the internet. Yeah, Berserk. Yeah, Berserk. When I read Berserk, I was like, wow, this guy took a lot of inspiration from Dark Souls. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It really, it really kind of surprised me. <laughs> Alright. A lot of people will get triggered by that. Man, can I just say triggered is such a good word for, it, like, talking about exactly what it was originally meant to be talking about. And it's been ruined. It's been ruined. It's a good word. I like it. Then when it, all of a sudden someone's just like, Oh, and then I triggered him. Are oh, you triggered? No, it's such a good word. It's such a good word. Primitive staff. I don't want any of this shit. Undead resist lightning is also dead. What? Look at this fucking buckler. Holy shit. I'm a total suckler for this buckler. W. Show me the buckler. This is a trash buckler, isn't it? My twig spirit shield. Don already has cosmetics. I did indeed spend $10 in order to unlock bees. Do I regret my purchase? Hard yes. There is no Hanauer without sacrifice. You need to identify it? I mean, I know I need to identify it, but like... This thing has green, red, and this has blue and green. And I like blue more than I like red, he said analytically. All right, where, where's my map? Did the, does this shit stack? Oh, shit. Ah! Doesn't stack at all, does it? Does this shit stack? <gasps> no, the answer is no. That's so fucking cool. Arcane focus. I'm gonna go straight for minion instability. Another well-timed level. I gotta admit that there's something that is that is really interesting to me and surprising to me is that this game is not fucking around with damage. Like in Diablo 3, you no matter how hard you try, you cannot die for the first 30 hours in the game. It's impossible to die. You have to be aggressively trying. And this game, like, holy shit, man. You can just die. Oh, just wait, day nine. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, communities, every community is horny for the pain that their game creates. Just, oh my god, you're gonna get... You're gonna get fucking so one shot by things, and then when I get one shot, people are gonna be like, oh, "He's, he's becoming me." Yes, very good. Yeah. Bees, bees, bees. Q. Bees, 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 bees. W. W. The one downside of going mini on is that I don't actually ever get to see anything. Mm. 
rotted round shield. Nailed fist. A jade amulet. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Lyra says, sometimes I feel so seen by day nine. I see you. I see you. Have you named your bees yet? <laughs> that is such a funny question. I have 800,000 bees. Let me tell you their names. <laughs> this, is, this is Alice. This is Bob. This is Bob, but they have different last names. This is Wilson, and no one cares about him. This <laughs> is... Of my 800,000 bees, over 100 of them are named Daryl. <laughs> like, ouch. <laughs> That's fucking so funny, man. <laughs> I gotta get water, I'm thirsty. Can chat name the bees? Yeah, all, all, all few thousand of you in chat, each of you are one of my bees. Feel free what to like type in a way that uniquely expresses your I'm gonna get water because I'm thirsty, so please talk amongst yourselves. Hey, bees. Hey, bees. Oh, look at you. I zub today. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I'm naming those bees as an extra $10. <laughs> I want to name this bee Bob. That'll be $10. Here it is. Wait. Like... <laughs> the lower prison. I will go into the lower prison. I'd rather burn than call such a place home. What? Is that this game's the sanctity of this place has been fouled? I have an inventory full of garbage. Go to the home. Not in town. What? What is that? Oh, it's the rain in the game. <laughs> the rain in the game that stayed mainly in the plane. Yeah, that that rain was making me go crazy. I was like, is is my dog? gotten into the Lay's potato chips? Like, I, like, couldn't understand the sound because it's so crispy, man. Alright, this is a life flask. This is a mana flask. You can tell the difference between them. I genuinely think I have, like, semi-face blindness. Because, like, every time I see people, like, this is, th like, this is what they look like to me. Like, you got, you got like, a this flask and there's this flask and you look, like, literally... I have to look for little tiny cues, like this one has uh, like some hair missing on an eyebrow, and I ha that's the only way I can remember people's faces. Alright, so this is a small mana flask, so we can do like this and this. And do I actually want to identify this garbage? 
like, I'm gonna, let's go to Nyasa. The Tale of Brutus is and you could, uh, let's see. Added lightning damage support. Minion damage support. So that's what we want. Uh, combustion support, infernal legion support, void manipulation support. Unbound ailments. So I'm gonna get this. And then I'm gonna sell items, and I'm gonna put this one here. This gives me five transmutation shards, but if what I do is I identify it... I get six alteration shards. What? Um, okay, so I, I guess I guess that's what we're doing. We're gonna get a padded vest and a copper sword and a scale vest and a plank kite shield and a rod and round. And we're gonna give you that one and that one and this one. And uh, amulet, 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 and this belt. I don't even understand what's in my... What do I own? Blacksmith's whetstone. Alright, I gotta get organized here. So here's a chromatic orb. Do we have chromatic shards? This is fine. I don't need this shit. I don't need this shit in my bag. Should really buy a currency tab to hold that stuff. 6.5? I just spent nine and a half dollars on bees. Okay? I am currently upside down. I'm gonna have to refinance the loan on this apartment, okay? Oh, with interest rates going out of control, you think I can fucking afford currency tabs? After I've bought bees? And Avlox says, tabs greater than sign bees. This is crazy to me. Avlox is tabs greater than bees. And, and Avlox is watching with no audio. Yeah, yeah, this is the only way I can call you out. I gotta bring your shit on screen, Avlox. I have to pull the entire chat just to let you know you gotta turn your audio on so I can let you know that this will not fly in this channel, young man. Get out of here. Tabs go on sale. Wait till then. Can't believe that, man. All right. What the hell am I doing? Ah. All right, let me go to Nessa. First items. There was the other one that was like... Is there a search? Infernal Legion. Minions from supported skills take 40% of their maximum fire damage. So I want one orb of... And it just deducts it from my money. Ash. Alright, so now we need some stuff. There's a fine line between man and monster. There's a fine line between... Well, shut up, shut up, shut up. Do you have anything with some double length thingies? All right, so we have spell cascade support, and this just doesn't help any of my shit. So I am going to put it into my head. 
This needs to go with Summon Raging Spirit because the bees don't last long anyways and they're dealing fire damage which means they're hot bees. So I think that therefore hot bees will be good bees. And then in addition, minion damage support, I want on this fucking um, over here, Ray Zombie with Summon Phantasm support. Wait, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or do I want someone Phantasm support on bees? No one knows for sure. And I'm I'm taking a long time to make these sentences because there's a lot of fucking total horseshit logic for that I'm trying to wrap my head around in this fucking game where I have this wand that doesn't matter except for the fact that it fucking holds slots in there. Just and if I can get two gems in the same sack right there, then they'll just absolutely jet out a better spell. Like, <laughs> is the fact that it, it's a wand matters? No, it's just base damage. Like, there's something about that that's, like, fucking awesome. It's what all summoners do, Day9. You're not unusual for a summoner. <laughs> Alright, I'll purchase an item. Fires level 12. Oh, yeah, I have a goat horn. Alright, where's my, where's my fucking... Well, this... Is, is this trash? Yeah, yeah, it is a little bit. I don't use fireball anymore. Fireball can go right into there. Go right into there. And uh, minion damage support is going to go in here. Take care. Does is this guy sell shit? No. Still alive, are we? Still alive, are we? My shoes have an elemental proliferation and a frost blink. Farewell. So, all right, we we got hot bees, babies. We got hot bees going. Hot bees, baby. Ding, 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 da, da, ding, ding. All right, to the waypoint. The ledge, the climb, the prison. All right. Oh, fuck hot bees. Uh, eat that shit. Fucking suck hot bees, man. Holy fucking shit. This game is out of fucking control. It's got me effect for it. Oh my God. Holy fucking shit. Look at this. This is so stupid. Oh, fucking hot bees. Hold on. Get out of here. All right. All right. All right. They make sriracha honey, they're hot bees. Oh my god, look look at this guy's health just falling down, man. <laughs> Holy shit, a driftwood land. Alright, let's get that one in there. Nobody touches me. I don't even know what these are, but I'm leveling that shit up. Wait, wait, no, I did it wrong. Hell yeah. Oh! Oh my god! Math 1! Math 1 just raided us. Math 1. Oh my god, where's my VIP button? Hold on, I'm just gonna. Only. Hit him with the bees. Alright, hold on, we're gonna. Just, uh, VIP. Math 1. You added. Math Hill 1. 
Well, 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 well. Hello, everyone. It's my first ever day of playing Path of Exile, and I want to show you something. We've got hot bees. We have hot bees for days. Holy shit. Get me out of here. Oh, whoops. Hot bees. Send them in. Dude. I literally just discovered this seconds ago. Seconds ago. Oh, well, let me summon some zombies. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Like, electricity's flying out of me. I genuinely don't know why. I don't know why. Hot bees. Let me show you this. Look at that. All right. Summon Raging Spirit. Infernal Legion support. Minions take damage, but they're hot. And, amazingly, I spent $10 on this fucking bee cosmetic. So there they go. Hot bees. Well, to everyone who just joined, to all the Mathal One folk, hi, my name's Sean. I go by Day Nine. You can see my name up in the corner. Uh, I, I I really like strategy games and RTS games and card games, but lately, um, we're going to be playing some Path of Exile because I have been being asked to stream it for like a thousand years. But I never wound up getting around to it due to the fact that the Magic the Gathering set always came out at the exact same time as the League reset for this game. So when the excitement was at its at its peak, I just was I was busy tapping into the heart of the cards. Uh, but now that the Magic the Gathering set is still not out for a few weeks, League reset is coming up very soon. Friday with Lake of Calandra. So I want to learn enough about the game. Whalebone Rapiers. <laughs> I play Dota 2, so I see Rapier, and I'm like, this is the best item in the game. Oh. Uh. But, dude, Mathel won. Thank you so much for the raid. That's very kind of you. Please, feel free to plug the shit out of yourself in my chat. <laughs> I just went offline. Please follow me. All right, it's Death Lurch. Get out of here. Life is short. Deal with it. Life is short. Deal with it. Okay. That was very anticlimactic. All right. I mean, I'm just gonna sell everything. So. Oh yes. But dude, I, I can't even believe this. I can't believe that there's VFX on the hot bees. Like, this is so satisfying. Can't wait till my potions level up and I'm just fast forever. Oh, straight down the middle. Everything in this game dies fast, man. Oh, that's right. Minions are getting leveled up. Medium life flask. Oh, shit. I believe that I almost have the ability to level this up again. Dude, this game has every idea. Just made it into the game. And it's awesome. Like, often when every idea makes it into the game, it's because it was made by an 11-year-old. Rotted round shield. Sure. Much clutter. Two? Oh, dude, let me tell you something. This is the worst organization you get. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Right over there, please. This is the kind of unrepentant design. That I, I just I just miss in modern games. I miss it. I miss it. But oh my god, recently playing all the way through Elden Ring. Elden Ring fucks. I mean, holy shit. The number of absolute jaw drop moments that happened in the playing of Elden Ring. It's incredible. You set a gem to auto level. Oh, wrong button. This is what I hit. Upper prison. I didn't even touch that, right? 
Where did I come from in this place? Up here is where I didn't go, huh? In the court of the goddess, a bunch of stuff. Solve the trial of the sentence in the area? Holy shit, it's a little puzzle. Look, here they come. Send some hobbies at this one. I mean, let me tell you. Let me tell you, as, uh, uh, as someone that plays a lot of uh, adventure games, uh, you know, as Resident Puzzle King, I gotta say, I appear to have solved the puzzle. Well, that didn't fucking do anything at all, did it? Alright. Fears that I have make you a mistakey. Oh, shit. Maybe it's just to go as fast as you can? Yeah, I mean, that seems good. I got an energy shield. Look at that. Hit him with the bees. Oh, yeah, if any of you happen to be a bee, feel free to just go bzzz. Oh, shit. Oh, I, I've played these. Oh, my God. Like, if you played games on the NES, this this was in every game. Like, modern games all have battle passes. NES games all had the alternating floor spike trap puzzle. Times have changed. <laughs> Humbert Bumbert says, peace, love, and bzzz. Oh, medium life flask. Oh, shit, it's time to match three. Eat your heart out, auto battlers. Jeweler's orb. Ugh. Get it. Why are you all going bzzz? Go back. Oh, shit. No, I feel like we're done. I'm actually going to speed up and go this and we drink a potion so I can hurry. I'm teasing. There's a portal here. There's a... Come zombies, 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 oh, zombies. Throw out the bees. Hit them with the bees. All right, where is... I mean, dude, minion instability with this shit? Give me energy. Apply those points. Increase mana regeneration rate? Hell yeah. All right, where, where am I going? Oh, dude, the fact that M, which is map in every game that's ever existed... Opens the store is a stroke of genius. And I think that in 10 years' time, first-person shooters will have the left click instead just open the store. I mean, wouldn't that be amazing muscle memory where you, <laughs> to shoot, you have to hover over and press the H button to shoot the person in front of you? I mean, that's a stroke of genius right there, man. Just, oh, fuck. I, just, I, I had him. I had him in my sights. And then all of a sudden, I was, well, you get the season pass. It's only nine ninety nine. I went ahead and bought it. Uh, Season pass allows me to rebind the stored to H instead, and then back to left click. I have some good monetization ideas in case any of you need a consultant. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> what on earth am I doing? There's the waypoint. Came out of there, huh? Go that way. But I solved it, right? Solve all tribes of tendency to access the Lord's Labyrinth.
The Warden Brutus has blockaded Axiom Prison. Kill him to get through. Alright, so, like, here's a way to the upper prison. What was the thing? I'm gonna go do that. Alright. Joint. Yeah, let's go back to the zoom level. Hot bees. Can you imagine when I have hot detonation bees? Like, that's gonna be fucking sick, man. Oh, yeah. If I was a side questy thing. I mean, I assume as much. Where are the unique minions? Be careful, says I mathed it. To you, I say bzzzt. And not a friendly bzzzt. I'm talking like a Ruby Ross bzzzt. Where am I going? What you just typed in my chat is not green. Plate vest. I mean, it's too much clutter. Too much clutter. Bzzz. Dude, my hot bees are insane, man. With that sweet sriracha honey. Honey, like, look at this. I mean, these things just absolutely melt. The way that my heart melts whenever I see you. It's a little light flirting. I want to reinforce any parasocial beliefs you any might have. Rotting damned. Oh, shit. Retreat. Team, fall back. Chest. Dude, raging spirits. Oh, this game is giving me such a raging spirit right now. Blue Bice, are we taking bets on whether Sean one-shots Brutus? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'll go ahead and create the uh, create the prediction. Let's let's take some more points away from the haters here. I should have been looking for three slot fucking things this entire time, shouldn't I have? Oh, ho, 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 ho. I have not been a responsible gamer for quite some time. I will one shoot us, Mr. Brutus. Large life flask. Oh my god, I'm living up with one of those large life flasks. There's one thing gaming has taught me. It's that anytime there is a circle that shows up, it's not my circle, get the fuck out of that circle. Orb of regret. Look at the heat-seeking bees, man. The bees are just flying out of me. Superior ancestral protector. What the fuck, dude? I'm getting some. I'm getting some stuff. I'm getting some stuff here, because look, medium, 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 then I'll have a large, then I have large, 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 and then I'm in charge. Day 9 beat Brutus, good. Uh, predictions are up. Okay, what is this? I'm just going back, man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta unload some of this garbage. I need to just be myself. Alright. Requires level six. And what level am I? Twelve. 
I'm an adult. Purchase items. Sell items. Need a big one. Oops. Requires level 12. Unbelievable. Accept the ball. Alright, let's get rid of this, that, that, this. Now this, this is a triple touch staff. You know? It's a triple toucher. I think that I want to instantly sell this with no look backsies because they're the wrong colors. I need blue. These are red. Unless you're blue-red colorblind. Rotted round shield. Put this one back. Actually. I, I, I think I just say goodbye. I just, I think I just say, okay, bye-bye to this one. I think that's right. Yeah, no, I, I know, I know, I know how chromatic stuff works. And I'm unimpressed with it, I'll be honest. Ancestral Protector. Summons an ancestor totem, which attacks enemies with melee strikes while you're near it. Being near it grants you more attack speed, requires a melee weapon or unarmed. I guess I jam this shit into two, which is stuff I don't know what to do with. All right. Brazen quizzes, but you can ignore chromatics. So you have a big stack of them. A <laughs> brazen quail. I'm gonna ignore chromatics for the rest of my fucking life. Media mana, media mana, hey! Portal scroll, here we go. I need to increase my cast speed because then I can send out more bees. He said, like a truly sophisticated gamer. All of Grinding Gear Games was watching me make that statement and they went, this guy's the fucking target market. I'm Thunder God. Alright, if any of you see like triple linked blue shit out of the way, just let me know. An oiled vest. How very sexy. Oh, small mana flask. Oh, get fucking menus out of here. Okay, bye bye. Been in here. That's that's all I wanted to do there. <laughs> Let me, ugh. Long brigandine. All right, no junk inside that trunk. Armorous scrap. All right, I drank a Get There City potion. I'm gonna go ahead and walk a little faster. Is that Slender Moan? <laughs> oh my God! Happy Halloween, everyone. He had a great outfit. He was dressed up as Slender Moan. Um, let me let me go back here. And I think this is where my Ray Zombie is. So we can raise four zombies now. Damn. Quality name. I know, right? Where, but where is Brutus? Wait, what is that shit? Strong box, guarded by three packs of monsters. Wow. Even the boxes have rarity in this game. I mean, I love that I'm just holding a button. 
rotted round shield, rawhide boots. Will I use them? Unlikely. Alright, so I'm going to go up this way first. Man, I think one of the funniest things about playing this game today is people are like, Oh my god, he's exploring the area. God, you can tell he's so new. He's so green. Oh my god, do you see how he's like killing the monsters in the area? He's clearly never played the game before. I think, I think you're all maniacs. Oh, is that what that means? Wisdom. Wisdom. Did I pick it up? Because I, like, literally didn't want, want to get that. Oh. Combatants Tribal Club of the Brute. Oh, shit. I keep... <laughs> Mathis says, this phenomenon is known as the area effect. Is that is that really what it is? Or is this a reference to something that I don't know? Because I don't get a lot of references. Be warned. Oh, shit. The zombie melee? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust them with arrows yet. Get to... Get to the, the Jade Chopper! Dude. I rewatched Predator recently, and then immediately afterwards watched Prey. Prey is a fucking awesome movie, dude. Prey, absolutely real. Social, oh my god, decline. Oh my god, get out of here. The Warden's Quarters. Alright, so we haven't explored this area. Well... Swift, brittle thief! We're going for this. You can tell the day nine doesn't know what he's doing. He's like smiling and having a good time. He clearly has no idea how the game works. Sawbones! Oh my god, it's good old Sawbones! Raises undead, resist lightning, is generally a douche. Goat's horn, hell yeah. I actually have a, a type of, I have a barrel goat's horn. Wait, what is this? What is this fucking bismuth flask? Hold on. Plus 35% to all elemental resistances? Very well. Congratulations, you're four. I keep hitting S because I play strategy games. And S stops you. Goat's horn with a single slot? Fuck out of my inventory. Blink. Drink. Alright. Hit him with some of the hot bees. Oh, that's it? Oh, exploring content is a noob trap. Diabolist. Right. Why can't I drink this? Why can't I drink this? Why can't I drink it? Why can't I drink it? Why can't I drink it? I'm hitting four. 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 Oh, nerds respawn in this fucking game? It's empty? But there's very clearly, like, there is a color here. Enemies respawn in this game. That's crazy. No spawns just miss the necromancer? Wow, they respawn in this game. That's crazy. 
Oh my god, it is it is around six. All right, all right. I, I hate to do this, but we need we need to take a break. Sheriff. Sheriff. All right. Well. All right. Here we go. All right. Here's the final boss. Hi. How you doing? Oh. Okay. Yep. Right against the ear. That's good. This is Sheriff, for any of you who don't know. Any of the Maffle Ones, this is Sheriff. She is the sweetest, most gentle cat in the whole universe. She's the sweetest. Yep, ouch, yeah, of course. She never bites or scratches or does anything. Ever, under any circumstance. She likes to sleep, she likes the heating pad, and if you have food, she'll come over to say hello. Yeah, hi. Yep, uh-huh. That's good. Oh, cutie Danny boy, gifting five, of course, to Sheriff. All right, do, do you do you want to maybe go onto the neck? Here, let me see, do you want to go up? Nope, she doesn't want to go up. We have like a, we have like a little like communication through where I like put a little pressure and like push her belly a little bit and then she'll climb up if she wants to go up. All right. Oh, oh, are, are we considering going up? No. Okay. Well, let me cross my legs. So there you go. Yeah, she wants she wants the lap. Okay. So this is this is going to be tricky cuz my keyboard's pretty far away. We're going to go to the warden's warden's quarters. Mm. Ouch. Ouch, that hurts. That's good. All right. Oh, there you go. Yep. Yep. All right. Now, sometimes, sometimes Sheriff is is one to meow. We're going to stop petting the cat in just a minute. I understand your content is suffering. Scritches. Scritches. Here we go. Um. All right. Yep. So you can you can maybe even hear Sheriff's purrs as she's rubbing against the microphone. This is also one of the reasons why we have a lint roller right here by the computer desk. All right, so, Sheriff, Sheriff, hey, Sheriff. What if I, what if I give you scratches? Let's try this again, let's give scratches, do the chin. Doing the chin, this is good. All right, that's good, let's just, all right, get the head, okay. All right, and then let's stop, and then we go, Sheriff, hey, Sheriff, Sheriff. Make a noise. You have a very cute meow, and I demand it. She's probably so confused, because if she meows at the door, I'm always like, Sheriff, cut it out. And then when she's on my lap, I'm like, Sheriff, make lots of noise, because we have an audience at home. Oh, what a good cat. Yeah, Sheriff. Oh, we're so happy. Thank you, Sheriff. All right, let's see if we can do this. This is actually heinously uncomfortable for me. Oh, let me see if I can angle it this way. Sheriff, cut it out. <laughs> Ignorance brought you here, sister. To the one place where your talents are free to grow and be truly feared. All right. Ah. All right. I see fear in my eyes, I know. I can tell that this one is going to be tough. Oh, we're stretching out. We're stretching out into the lap. Comfy time forever. I love this fucking cat so much. God, she makes me just so happy. Oh my god, she has she's a really tiny cat. But she has the this inc insanely long tail. Chevroni. I assume this is pronounced Chevroni because that's the funniest possible way to interpret it. She has an insanely long tail and her paws are gigantic. 
Yeah. Right, let's get the little ears. She likes having her little ears massage. Let's get this one. The spot between the ears and the eyes are really good. How many pounds? Seven. She's seven pounds. All right, Chevroni, let's read your journal. Alright. Uh, uh, chest, chest. Gnarled branch, barrel. Alright. Look, look at my cat. My cat's just literally looking at me. Hi. Yeah, I love you too. You can just see her little ears in her head, and she's just, like, staring right at me, man. Chest. Shark tooth claw. Sean drops a mirror. I'm quitting Path of Exile. Oh, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna drop a mirror. We're gonna make Solid Log quit Path of Exile. That's not a euphemism. That's just the name of the person that I'm responding to. Why is it so huge in here? I do this for a living. With a cat on me as well. Ow. Ooh, ow. Very good. Hot bees, baby. Ooh, some of those hot bees. Oh, oh, oh. Hit him with the bees. Hit him with the bees. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This cat. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on one second. We have. We actually have a crisis at hand. Okay, let me just... Oh. All right. All right, so let me... All right, let me just, all right. All right, haters are in shambles. Sitting in their chairs with their nailed fists and their crude bow, actually. Stone axe, all right, that's getting sold. Large life flask, but it's an unidentified large, this is a greater life flask. Mm -hmm. All right, copper sword. Plated gauntlets. Serrated arrow quiver. Well, this was anticlimactic at its best. My loyal Declan. My loyal Declan. Declan Kane. Zawarden's chambers. Prisoner's gate. Oh, got some lore over here. It's lore clock. Dear Shavrani, it's your pal Shawnee. What do you got going on? -y? All right. A rip, a rip in pepperonis. Talk to Turkley. Oh, hell yeah, man. An area with light. Fuck yes. That is about what I am talking. Hello. It is your friend, your friend Turkley. Ah, uh, yes, a fuck entirely. The warden's free of his own prison. Well, I think I'll give you something you can level up. Clarity. Summon skeletons. I fucking really like summoning skeletons. 
I like I like skeletons. All right. Uh, okay. So let's see here. Lightning warp. Flame dash wither. Could be hot skeletons. Now nah, we're gonna stick with hot bees. I think I think zombie and bee is what we're gonna be doing. Or could or should we do skeletons and bees? I mean that's really it. That's really it. Should we go should we be should we be zombies and bees or skeletons and bees? Skeletons are throwaway targets. I don't know what that means, magic fool. Skeletons don't last forever. Sticking with zombies. Sticking with zombies. Sticking with zombies. Uh, and so flame dash. I already have. I already have um, this dash. I have frost blink. Body swap. Violently destroys your body and recreates it at the location of targeted enemy or corpse. Starring Jeff Goldblum. So look, I already have summons. This is a summon. This is um, a teleport. I already have a teleport. This is, this is a dash slash teleport. I already have a teleport. This is a debuff, so I'm considering this. Body swap is a teleport. So, like, we, we already have... We already have frost blank. So I think I'm actually going to get this clarity... Because I, I don't know. Whoops. Farewell. Fare thee well. Because I'm I just I'm interested in doing something different. I don't care about quality, I care about goodness. So let's see here. So this is minion damage support that I've been leveling. And on the other side, this is Arcane Surge support. And Arcane Surge. Does this do anything? So if I put this here, so then I'm going to put the arcane support, arcane surge, and minion damage here. So I'm going to do clarity. What's this thing? Ancestral Call Support. Frost Blades. I'm selling this garbage. I'm getting this out of here. Why am I selling it? Because I like being reckless. Sell items. I don't want the quiver, or the axe, or the bow, or the plated gauntlets, or the nail fists. Constant medium mana flask. So if I do this, does it gain those qualities? Alright. This fucking thing. Some of that garbage. What do you think about this? Alright. That is acceptable. Oh, I have a... That one right there. While we live, we are blessed. Hmm. Is there a sort? An unidentified large life flies? Is there a sort? Yeah. Is there a sort? There is no sort. Great. I hate sorting. I hate having organizational tools. I don't use them. And more importantly, I don't believe in them. I think of organization as a crutch. And as someone who is a clearly a pro gamer, I would never rely on any sort of crutch in a game when I could just replace it with sheer skill. In fact, my favorite games are text-based puzzles. Got any triple slots for Champla? 
Triple shots for Snarl and Plotten? Okay. Stay sharp out there. That's what tabs do. What's a tab? No one even knows that. Tabs are a crutch, Chrome users. Tabs are a crutch. Else says I had to tap back in to say how dare you. Yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of like showing up to the fight with your tail between your legs, Prelt. In a conversation about tabbing, you would dare tab in to participate in the conversation. I don't believe it. Real adults have one monitor for each Chrome window full screen. My chat on Twitch is full screen here. The game is full screen here. That's it. If I want to, like, I don't know, listen to music, I need a third monitor. I mathed, it says, I have 20 tabs open in Windows Chrome and it didn't cost me a cent. Yeah, it just cost all the RAM on your computer. <laughs> oh my god, enjoy both your frames per second, my dude. Alright, let's go to the waypoint. Uh, where are we? Prisoner's Gate. Oh, shit. Bad goats. Let me just W up some of these zombie boys. Oh, shit. It's seven? It's seven o'clock? How does this work? Reservation 34 mana. Oh my god. That's so fucking clever. Oh my god. Grinding your games. Oh no, no, that's not... That isn't Dorito Flakes on my fingers. That's the reservation mechanic that... Mm, I don't want to lose any of it because it just tastes so good. <laughs> Wipe my hand off after that joke because my fingers have my saliva on it. Uh, wow. And holy shit. Holy fuck. Oh shit. Ray zombie, sorry guys. Fan phantom support. Wait a fucking minute. Wait a wait a holy fucking minute. Wait, hold on. Ray zombie. Guess what? You're gonna summon phantasm supports. But then the fucking raging spirit is going to be infernally legioned and damage supported. So that way they deal less, they have less life, they deal more damage. You're not going to believe this. But if I hit P for probably not sure what to do, it's going to open my skill tree and look at this. They explode when they're reduced to low life. I don't know what. Does anyone know what low life is? Gall low life. <laughs> Damage is based on their life, though. Avlock, look who unmuted. Look who unmuted their Twitch, Avlock. Well, well, well. Don't think I forget. An elephant never forgets, Avlock. Why don't you- you're not allowed to use the though in this chat room ever again. Alright, so let me get out of here. Do I go up here? Is 
So 40% of their maximum life as fire damage per second. Oh, I guess that's I guess that's good because they take yeah, just it's like the same. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, let me just get my cascade support and my fireball. Can't do anything. Zombie Phantasm, Arcane Surge, Fireball. Yeah. Totally surged. Alright, so we got some. Some enraging spirit. You hold alt when hovering over things for more info, like this? So if I do Raging Spirit... What, what do you want me to hover over and hit alt? Do it in the skill tree, though. Fine. Hitting all, everyone is wrong except for me. And hold alt on this. Look at this. Hold it over. Here it comes. Here comes alt. Oh, fuck yeah. Advanced tooltip isn't on. Well, well, well. Looks like we caught everyone in a lie. All right, where's my advanced tooltips? General. Map. Visual sensitivity. Item. Gameplay. Is day nine okay tonight? That's just hail. What do you mean, just hail? Just hail. I can't believe you'd ever say that to me. My goodness. Wait, do you want to save changes main to the option? Sure. Alright, hot bees, baby. Woo! Yeah. Alright, I'm actually just going to... Exit. <sighs> I math it says, don't hold alt too long. It causes an alt ercation. You've just punished chat. Um, so, look. This game owns. I'm going to play it all day tomorrow. I'm going to end a little bit earlier. Maybe around 6 p.m. Uh, and then Friday, we're also going to end a little earlier. Around 5 p.m. And then Friday, we're not going to end earlier. Because it's Lake of Calandra. Now, I've hardly gotten deep at all. But I'd like to, I mean... Even though I was playing a bit of a, a, a crotchety, grumpy character throughout. I will say, just the backseating information that was provided today was mwah, amazing. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you, little darlings. We're going to be back 1 p.m. Pacific tomorrow and 1 p.m. Pacific Thursday. 1 p.m. Pacific Friday. If you know what 1 p.m. Pacific is, you'll know where to find me. Um, this was lovely, but for now... I need to walk my dog. Robert loves games. Is getting the queue early Friday. I didn't think about that at all. Now, if the queue is like four hours, then I'll need to do it. If the queue's 30 minutes, all I ever want to do is chat for 30 minutes at a time. 